Hi everybody, I'm Steve Eklund from the village of Tuckahoe and today is Friday, April 30th and in Tuckahoe and pretty much all across the United States the last Friday in April is, can everybody here just shout it out and tell me what today is? That's right, you got it, it's Arbor Day and we're here at Immaculate Conception School on their beautiful property here and we're here today to introduce the latest tree. It's a beautiful flowering dogwood tree and this is your tree guys so you're gonna take care of it. Today you're gonna water the tree. Yes. We're gonna talk a little bit about Arbor Day and I want to introduce a couple of very important people. We have uh, Ta East Chester Town Councilwoman Sheila Marcotte. And this gentleman over here, his name is Frank. I, I should call him Mr. DeMarco, but he said please call him Frank. And Frank is a very important man in the village of Tuckahoe. Frank is in charge of all of our parks and all of our streets, but most importantly is in charge of all the trees in all the parks. So everyone make sure you give him a big thank you because it's because of his efforts he makes sure that all our trees are pruned properly and they're watered and they look as beautiful as they do in the springtime. That's right, exactly right now. Well, we have beautiful weather today. I want to thank you for coming out. I want to thank your teachers for allowing you to spend a little bit of time with us here today. And I have a couple of questions. Can anybody tell me some of the benefits that we get from trees? That's why we're out here today. Clean air. Clean air is very right. Oxygen. That's right. <laughs> Paper. Paper is right. Is there any other goods that you can think of that you would that you would get from trees? Nuts, fruit, and toothpaste. Okay, all right. Nuts, the the nuts that come from the trees. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. Okay, Tom's a man. Okay, yes. Perfume. Perfume come from trees. Yep. Okay, they smell beautiful. That's for sure. Um, film. Film. Any uh, anything else that you could think of? Think of maybe some wood items. What's a very important thing that they use today in sports? Think about that. I'll give you guys a hint. Look. And what do you sit on when you go back to your classrooms? Um, seats and desks. Your wooden chairs and your desks. And what do you write with when you go back to your class? Pencils. Pencils is right. Okay, what else? Um, you could use wood for a boat sometimes. You definitely can. And what else would you build out of wood? Shelter for animals. Very good idea. Shelter for animals. Houses. And houses. We all live in houses, so you need wood for your houses. Sometimes um, they make fishing poles. Some fishing poles are made out of wood. That's right. Good fly fishing poles. Sleds and sleds and toboggans you're right we all use them this winter we had a lot of snow around here this winter um sometimes we use oars and shovels oars and shovels that's right well can you guys tell me do you know a little bit about arbor day and who started arbor day do you know the the name of the man who started arbor day jay sterling martin Excellent. You, that was right on target. Excellent. And do you know what? When he started Arbor Day? That's a tough one. 1872. And, and when do we celebrate Arbor Day? What day is that? The last Friday in April. You guys are very, very smart. I can't get over how quick you came up with these answers here. You're very, <laughs> you're, you're very welcome. You're very, very smart. Well, today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and need help from everyone here because we have to water this tree. This is your tree, and I want you all, when you, when you come to school, I want you to pay very special attention to this tree. This is yours as you get older and taller and stronger. I want your tree to get taller and stronger, so make sure you keep an eye on it. If you see any dirt or, or any uh, litter or anything around it, pick it up. And if you see anything that looks maybe wrong with the tree, just let the people inside the school know and they'll come out and take care of 
of it properly and Frank will make sure he comes down and keeps an eye on it. So it's your tree and I'd like to see if maybe we can water this tree. Now you guys want to help water your tree? Yeah! They give us fruit to eat and make us air to breathe. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. I just want to plant a bunch of trees, trees, trees. Once there was a wise man who walked from town to town. He gave away his apple seeds and put them in the ground. He said that Mother Earth will give you what you need. So please take good care of her, said Johnny Appleseed. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. They give us fruit to eat and make us air to breathe. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. I just want to plant a bunch of trees, trees, trees. All around America, Johnny used to go, telling about the apple trees and how to make them grow. Give them lots of sun and rain and watch the time go by. In just a few years, you'll be eating apple pie. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. They give us fruit to eat and make us air to breathe. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. I just want to plant a bunch of trees, trees, trees. Trees are good for climbing by boys and girls and bears. There's lemon, lime, and orange trees, and coconut and pears. They give us wood for houses and paper for our books. Oh, so many kinds of trees, I like the way they look. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. They give us fruit to eat and make us air to breathe. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. I just want to plant a bunch of trees. Now if you guys take a look at this beautiful, beautiful print, there was a contest amongst some fifth graders and this is the winning print. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. We're going to give this to your teacher. We have a couple of copies of this and she may put it in your classroom just as a, something to remember this day by today. But you're always going to have something to remember this day, which is your tree. This is your tree here. It's Arbor Day 2010. And I need some help with one last thing. You guys think you can help me out on something? Yes! When I say three, I need everyone to yell as loud as you can, Happy Arbor Day, Tuckahoe. Can you guys do that? Yes! Arbor Day is very important in Tuckahoe. We're considered what's called a tree city. This is the 16th year that we've been considered Tree City USA. So Arbor Day is very important to us. So if everyone can look at the camera, and on three, you know what to say, right? Boy, everyone's so quiet right now. Okay, you guys ready? One, two, three. Happy Arbor Day! <laughs> Great job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Let's, let's give DPW a big round of applause. Yes, everyone clap for Frank and Dominic over here. Come on, give them a big hand. Good job, guys. Trees, I like the way they look. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. They give us fruit to eat and make us air to breathe. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. I just want to plant a bunch of trees, trees, trees. Some trees grow in forests, some grow in the city. Some look kind of scary, but most are very pretty. Trees can live a long time when you treat them right. In fall they change their color and in spring they eat your kite. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. They give us fruit to eat and make us air to breathe. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. I just want to plant a bunch of trees, trees, trees. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. They give us fruit to eat and make us air to breathe. Trees, trees, trees blowing in the breeze. I just want to plant a bunch of trees, trees, trees. Trees, trees, trees.
everyone. Happy Arbor Day. We're here at Main Street Park. I'm with uh, Councilwoman Sheila Marcotte, Jerry Crumpton, our head of um, ECAP Books, Books and Beyond program, and trustee and deputy mayor Steve Eckland, and students from ECAP's Books and Beyond program. <laughs> We're here to celebrate Arbor Day, and we were talking earlier, and um, I'm going to ask these kids so why trees are important. So when you have an answer, raise your hand, and I'll walk over to you. So why are trees important? They help, they help us breathe. Yes. What else? They make the park look beautiful. Um, they, um, they give animal homes. They get food. They provide us, um, they give us food and paper and baseball bats and stuff. They give us oxygen. Yeah. They give us, they give us pencils. They give us food. Yep. So, everyone sees the reason why we need trees? Yes. Yes, yes we have something else here. They give us maple syrup. And maple syrup, oh, that's a good thing. Oh, we have another one. They give us wood and wood. So lots of good reasons why we're out planting trees today here. Um, so I just want to welcome everybody to Arbor Day and we're going to proceed to our tree planting. All right. Are you guys ready to go ahead and plant? These are your trees now and I know you guys all play in this park so it's important that you keep an eye on these trees and you take care of them. So if you see any litter or anything around the trees you pick it up if you see anybody touching the tree, you tell me, say, wait a minute, that's my tree. I planted that tree. So these are yours. Take ownership of these trees. They're beautiful, and they're going to grow big and strong, just like all you guys. So uh, take care of them, and we're going to water them today. And we want you guys to take care of them and keep an eye out for them, OK? All right. All right, we're going to walk up. We're down joint. Sure. <laughs> We're now joined by this gentleman here, and does anybody know, does this guy look familiar at all to yes. anybody? Yes, from the school. Yes. Well, <laughs> Frank, you're a teacher also? <laughs> I've taken some side jobs, and I guess that's probably one of them. This Besides man putting trees up. This man here, his name is Frank, and he's in charge of our public works, which means that he's in charge of all the parks and playgrounds that we have here in Tuckahoe. So he's responsible for making sure these trees get in place, and he's going to be keeping an eye on you guys to make sure that you take care of your trees, too. So when you see him, give him a wave, because Frank is always working to help your parks look beautiful. You guys want to help us water your trees? Yeah! All right, let's do it. Okay, stand up.
ready? One, two, three. Wow, that was pretty good. That was excellent. Thank you, guys. Oh, okay. But yeah, these green bags hold 20 gallons of water, and what it does is a slow watering process for the plants. So uh, we're not always running here to water them, but um, it takes in the nutrients at a slow pace, and it takes probably two weeks to drip 20 gallons. So uh, it feeds it nice and slow and keeps it healthy. You'll see these throughout the village. I mean, any new tree that we're going to be planting, I know we have three right here at the Main Street Park, but any new tree that we're going to be planting is going to have these bags. And uh, it also keeps us from going out on a weekend and, and watering these. Well, they're going to be strong trees. So yeah, they'll do well. And if the weather stays like it is now, they're going to be very strong. This is what we need. For sure. A little bit of this and a little bit of rain will be okay. right up the hill and she's been really really helpful to the village in um, helping us with getting more trees planted and what types of trees should go where and uh, so she actually scoped out this area as one of the spots for you to plant the saplings that are coming around now that uh, Councilwoman Marcotte is bringing you and each of you will be planting one along this wall and making it look much much prettier in the future and when they grow up big and tall, um, they'll provide some nice shade and some screening all year round in the back area. Because anybody know what an evergreen is? What's an evergreen? I'm going to come up to you. What's an evergreen? It's a big tree that um, has been there for a long time. Yep. And do, what happens with evergreens? Do they lose their leaves? No. No. <laughs> they stay green all year long, so that's nice. So these are white pine trees, um, and these um, will are evergreens. They get pine cones just like other evergreens do, but these will grow nice and tall, provide a nice, um, nice um, privacy screen for here, and provide lots of nice shade as well. So they'll um, once you once you plant them, um, and they're also very quick growers. So um, maybe in a few years, you'll really see some results if you water them and uh, keep them healthy. Does anyone live near, right near here that they can come and water their trees? Okay, are you going to come and water your tree? Yes. How about you? Maybe if my grandmother lets me come. Down. Okay, good. They're asking their parents for permission. We like that. And grandparents. All right, everybody want to do that? Yeah. Oh, good. All right. These trees will be well taken care of, right? Great.
Xavier. Xavier? Yes. And I want to thank you very much for coming out today. Thank you. You did a great job here, and you're going to take care of these saplings out here? Yes, I sure am. Good. Good job. You want to say hello? Yes, hello. Okay, and you're going to do a you're going to water these uh, little saplings here and make sure that they're nice and safe and nobody knocks them over yeah. if they're out playing in the fl in the uh, play area here. Good, good job. Thank you. What's your first name? Eli. Eli. Okay. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley. You're very pretty, Ashley. I'm glad that you came out today and you're doing a great job planting these saplings and thank I want to you. thank you and you're going to water them, right? Yep. Good, good. Thank you. What's your name? Gabrielle. Gabrielle, thank you so much for coming out today. You're welcome. Say hello to everyone at home. Hi. Okay, good. Thank you for coming out today. What's your name? Sadina. Sadina? Yeah. Thank you so much for coming out. You did a great job here today. We really appreciate it. Hi, Mom. That's great. You want to say hello to everyone at home? What's your name? Marlanda. Marlanda, thank you for coming out today. What's your name? Samantha. Samantha? You want to say hello to anyone at home? Um, hello, Grandma, Grandpa, Mom, and Great. family. Thank you for coming out today. Yeah. Thank you. And what's your name? Kamora. Kamora. Do you want to say hello to everyone at home? Hi, everybody, my whole family. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> what's your name? Amber. Amber. You want to say hello to everybody at home? Hi. Great. Thank you for coming out today. You're welcome. Thank you so much for coming out today. You want to say hello? Hello. Hello. Okay, thank <laughs> you. And what's your name? Marion. Marion. You want to say hello to everyone at Hi. home? Hi. Thanks for coming out and helping us today. Thank you. You want to say hello to everybody? Hi. Thank you very much for coming out today. Well, these guys did a wonderful job today. And uh, I want to thank the uh, help that we got from the folks here from uh, Department of Public Works, Dominic Cacciola is over here. He's actually been out with me all day today. Hey, Dominic, say hello. <laughs> These guys did a great job. We have some beautiful saplings that are going to grow up nice and tall and strong. And uh, again, I want to thank you guys. And how about one more, not so very loud, we don't want to wake anybody up, but a medium Happy Arbor Day. Can you guys do that? On three. One, two, three. Happy Arbor Day! That was perfect. Thank you. Thank you.